Hello, and welcome to our 40 Ways in 40 Days program video. I know you're going to enjoy it. So sit back and get ready for the show. I'm Gordon Beecher, President of the Board of Trustees for the Central Washington Catholic Foundation. I'm also a member of Christ the King Parish in Richland and a longtime board member of Tri-Cities Prep School. Our foundation financially supports a wide variety of religious education programs throughout the Diocese of Yakima. So donations to our 40 Ways program goes throughout the diocese to fund everything from CCD instruction to our Catholic K through 12 schools and even college scholarships, grants and awards, and the new formed .org online program, etc. But before you get to see some great examples of our programs and hear from some key benefactors of these programs, I want you to meet our new executive director, Nicole St. Mary Franson. We are so fortunate to have had such a wonderful talent join our foundation. And she was born and raised right here in the Yakima Valley. But you need to hear from her. Nicole? Thank you, Gordon. My name is Nicole St. Mary Franson, and I am the new executive director of the Central Washington Catholic Foundation. I appreciate the opportunity to share a bit more about myself with all of you. As you take this time to celebrate all things that are Catholic education, the Board of Trustees thought this might be a great opportunity to share my Catholic education journey that starts right here in Yakima and has led me back to lead this life-changing organization. I was born and raised on a hop farm out in Harrow, Washington from a strong Catholic family. Many of you may know the St. Mary clan. That was us. My parents, Ray and Diane St. Mary, also share a strong commitment and passion for Catholic education here in the Yakima Valley. Some say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I'm a perfect example. Growing up, I attended St. Joe's Marquette School and then went on to LaSalle High School, where I was part of the founding class. My Catholic elementary and middle school memories are filled with peace partners, jogathons, class retreats with the REACH team. I remember always looking forward to Fridays in religion class, when Father Royce or Father Carol would come and teach our class and answer questions. While at LaSalle, I had the privilege to serve on the first ever associated student body and play multiple varsity sports. I fondly remember as a senior at LaSalle planning a service immersion trip to Seattle for a group of my fellow students and I, where we served as tutors at Child Haven, an elementary school for homeless and displaced children. We served meals at the St. James Teen Soup Kitchen and spent our evenings in prayer and reflection as a group. Some of my fondest religious education memories are attending the Sunday evening Life Teen Mass at St. Paul Cathedral. These types of memories are what define the Catholic education experience. I cannot think of any other educational system that can claim students enter to learn and leave to serve, or that truly develops the whole child, physically, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. We are special. Each student's experience is different, but I think it is safe to say that we all have one thing in common. We are grounded in Christ. After high school, I started my college career at Seattle University, where I majored in English creative writing with the support of an incredible college counselor, Father Roger Gillis, SJ, I pursued my undergraduate degree. After graduation, I spent a year working as a recruiter for a local business in Seattle, when one day I realized that work was just not as rewarding as I had hoped. Something was missing. So one day, while I was sitting at my desk looking over stacks of resumes, I found a master's in teaching program through Heritage University that fit my needs. So I applied, was accepted, and off I went. One of the reasons I entered the teaching field was because I was blessed to have had compassionate, highly educated, and innovative teachers growing up that supported me in so many ways during my Catholic educational journey. Also, I recognized that education and positive role models can and will change the trajectory of a person's life. That is why I became a teacher to give back what I was so lucky to have been given. 
a rigorous, faith-based, inclusive Catholic education. So I left my current job and became an instructional assistant in the Catholic school in Bellevue at Sacred Heart. Once I completed my master's, I moved into a variety of teaching jobs over those next few years from teaching preschool at Villa Academy to sixth grade at St. Cecilia's on Bainbridge Island and eighth grade humanities at Eastside Catholic in Sammamish. The next logical step was for me to become a Catholic school principal. So I enrolled in a program at Seattle Pacific University to get my principal credentials. I was then hired as the principal of St. Mary's School in Aberdeen, Washington. I spent three years working in this incredibly resilient, faith-filled community and loved every minute of it. Even when the school suffered a catastrophic flood during my first year that required us to gut the entire 100-year-old building and move our entire program to an old abandoned school across the city. We reopened the school in seven days, and I have never experienced a more perfect example of God's divine intervention of bringing together a community to support those most in need. During that time, we also found out we were expecting our first child. We both knew a 36-hour week commute was not conducive to having a young family. With that, we both started looking at jobs. We made a deal with God and said if we both found jobs on our tight timeline, we would make a move back to the Yakima Valley. God was prompt in his response, and we both received job offers. My husband, Michael, accepted a position with Pacific Northwest University, and I started as the executive director of the Yakima Schools Foundation. We moved back to Yakima two weeks after our son, Aiden, was born, and we have not looked back since. The past two and a half years have flown by. I credit my Catholic education for my success, as well as the incredible sacrifices my parents have made to ensure I received the best education possible. Catholic education has not only defined the person I am personally and professionally, but I know this story is not mine alone. There are hundreds of thousands of people out there that can relate to my journey, and that is what makes our Catholic community so unique and worth supporting. Your gift to the foundation will help support students that are like me. Your gift has lasting impact on those Catholic schools or religious education students. So thank you to those who have already given and for those who are still discerning a meaningful gift, now is the perfect time to give. Our students, parishes, and schools need you now more than ever. And thank you for allowing me to share my education journey with you. Now, let us hear a special message from the Bishop of Yakima, Bishop Joseph Tyson. Hi, I'm Bishop Joe Tyson here in the Diocese of Yakima and just so grateful for the great work of the uh, Central Washington Catholic Foundation, our outreach both to our parishes, their religious education programs, and our schools. Let me just say a couple key things that I've said over and over again, and it gets to why I'm so very supportive of our uh, campaign these last 40 days to uplift Catholic education. Um, I have two unbending intents as bishop. Every child gets a Catholic education regardless of ability to pay. We have a long climb there, but the great work of the foundation, our, our annual dinner that we do, and this year we're doing it differently as you know, this 40 days to uplift and celebrate faith is a little bit of a different approach but it's to make sure every child who wants a Catholic education gets one regardless of ability to pay. We're a long way from that, but thanks to you and thanks to the foundation, we are making progress. Second, every child learns about Jesus, regardless of whether they're in a Spanish or English parish, speaking parish, regardless of whether they're in a rural parish or an urban parish. And the foundation's been instrumental in providing sort resources and materials to many of our rural communities that otherwise would not have religious education. So I'm very grateful for all that you're doing, all that you're giving, especially now during this COVID-19 time when we're working with so many of our parishes on new platforms uh, such as Zoom, uh, putting out Flocknote and using Formed. We've got a lot of online platforms. It's more important than ever that we have your support this year in uplifting and celebrating the gift of faith for all of our children everywhere in all the schools and all the parishes in Central Washington. Many, many prayers and blessings. Thank you again for your support. Bishop Joe Tyson here in the Diocese of Yakima. God bless. 
As you know, due to COVID-19, the Central Washington Catholic Foundation's traditional fall fundraiser, Celebration of Faith, was re-envisioned. From the creative minds of the committee came 40 ways in 40 days to celebrate our faith. As of tonight, we are on day 34 and are making incredible progress towards our goal of $325,000. Because we do not have the added expense of hosting a large-scale gala, the money raised from this campaign will go directly to support the tuition assistance program, religious education grants, catechist training, formed operations, and our new digital learning fund. Starting on September 7th, the foundation began featuring videos and testimonials from community partners, board members, scholarship recipients, and highlighting our Catholic schools on our website, through emails, on our Facebook page, and YouTube channel. If you have not had a chance to check these out, I highly encourage you to do so. Throughout this video, we will be celebrating the many strengths, successes, and challenges going on in our Catholic schools and parishes. You are in for a treat. Thank you for joining us and enjoy this celebration video. It is with great excitement that on behalf of the foundation, I announce our newest program, the Digital Learning Fund. When we reach our campaign goal of $325,000, we will be able to establish this new program to assist our schools and religious education programs with technological and digital learning support. The hope is to allow schools and religious ed programs to complete a grant that will allow them to purchase items such as computers, projectors, screens, curriculum upgrades, and other support materials for this new digital learning world we are living in. In a brief survey of the schools completed in September, every single one of our elementary schools had technology or digital curriculum needs. Additionally, we have already had over $4,000 in religious education grant requests seeking support for distant learning materials for their ministries. With your support of this 40 Ways and 40 Days to Celebrate Our Faith campaign, we hope to further support the needs of our schools and parishes. Next, we have Deacon Dr. Tom Miller to share some exciting information about a diocesan program that has been called the Catholic Netflix. Hi, I'm Deacon Tom Miller. I'm a member of the parish at St. Joe's of uh, Yakima and also a member of the Central Washington Catholic Foundation Board of Trustees. Nicole asked if I could explain to you a project which you have taken on with the Yakima Diocese since the beginning of the COVID-19 shutdown. Shortly after the shutdown began, Monsignor Seiler contacted the foundation asking for financial assistance to help bring a service to the whole diocese. As funding was decreasing due to in-person masses being canceled and more education was going to have to be done via the internet, the diocese decided to bring a streaming service called Formed to the whole diocese. Some parishes are, have already adopted it and were having great success with their various education programs. Matter of fact, my wife Susan and Father Richard Setlicek were instrumental in bringing form to the St. Joseph Kennewick uh, Parish when we were there, when we lived there a few years ago. What is formed, you may ask? Formed is an online platform from the Augustine Inst Institute in, in Denver, Colorado, to help evangelize and support all members of the Catholic Church spiritually, intellectually, and pastorally. It is made up of educational materials and series, books, mo uh, movies, and audio series. The various materials can be used by a variety of religious education programs, including RCIA, confirmation, Bible classes. It can be used by schools, parishes, families, and individuals. Much of the material is available in Spanish and English. It has a separate section for kids with education and entertainment material. The diocese is signed up so every member of every parish can join for free. This means that every member of the parish and the diocese can sign up and enjoy all the movies, books, and educational materials for free simply by going to form.org. That's F-O-R-M-E-D dot org. If you decide that you want to start a Bible class, you can get most if not all, all your material through the form membership. The material can be viewed on an app on your smartphone or tablet. You can also go to the site on your computer or smart TVs. I use form frequently and I can listen to my programs while working in my study, out of my deck, or even in my garage. You want to learn more about the sacraments or the mass? It's there. You want to do a Bible study or, or faith formation? 
it's there. You want to learn more about Mary or St. Augustine or other saints, it's there. You want to learn ways to explore or defend your faith, it's there. You want to watch a family appropriate movie, there are over 200 movies available to you by simply going to form.org and start searching. Formed calls it the Catholic version of Netflix. Formed is your Catholic faith on demand. The board members at the Central Washington Catholic Foundation want to keep this service going as we, as we ride out this pandemic and for years to come. We're asking you to help us support this and our other programs as we try to bring Catholic education to people of all ages, from the youngest to the oldest of our fellow Catholics. Please pray about this and give what you feel called to help us support the, the, the diocese in this endeavor. May God bless you for your generosity. Did you know that the Foundation supports religious education by providing support for catechist training, a stipend for volunteer religious education coordinators, and support for religious education programs? Let us learn more about the impact these grants have on our religious education ministry. I saw when I was celebrating Mass that there were more than a few children, perhaps not as many in other parishes, but every child deserves the opportunity to grow and to learn more and grow in their faith. Perhaps the importance of teaching children very young cannot, you know, cannot be overstated. They need to know the importance of their faith. This is the faith that they were baptized into. Their parents thought enough of their faith to pass this on to their own children. And it's absolutely vital if the faith is to grow and if the legacy is to continue in the Catholic Church, the faith must be something that is, is taught. It's absolutely vital. Without it, without it, the church dwindles. Uh, the foundation has not only been important in funding curriculum, but also they've been very generous with us. And without the financial assistance, the moral support, that comes with the financial assistance of the Central Washington Catholic Foundation. I think we'd still be uh, grasping at uh, finances in order to make this work, in order to have to establish a curriculum and, and be able to serve the people of God, which is what it's all about. We plant more seeds, we have a greater reach, and to, without the foundation, it wouldn't have happened. In White Swan Parish, I am the religious ed director, and then I also teach the second year sacramental classes. All kids need love, and they need hope, and they need acceptance. So I'm hoping that when they come in, that's what they get, that they have hope for tomorrow, that they have love. They know they're gonna be accepted unconditionally. The Catholic Foundation grant has been such a blessing to our parish. We are a very small parish and a very poor parish. So through the grant, the first thing we wanted to do was we needed to get bilingual books because we didn't have bilingual books. And so to keep the communication with the parents, we needed to be able to have papers we could send home. So we got the workbooks for the kids. In talking with the students, there were so many of them that didn't have Bibles at home. We would try to talk Bible stories and they didn't know any. And so it was really important for us to have something that they could take home. So with the grant money, we were able to purchase, like the middle school, we purchased Bibles for all the middle school. Because of this grant, we have been able to do so many things. It has just been such a huge blessing to our parish. Because of our generous partners in faith, the Foundation is able to continue our mission of providing enduring support for Catholic education and ministries of Central Washington. Here is a special message from John Reel, former Board of Trustees member and owner of Burroughs Tractor. I own Burroughs Tractor Company with my wife Michelle. Uh, we have uh, three kids, they're all adults married with children. Uh, five of the six grandchildren go to Catholic schools. Uh, Two of them are over at St. Mike's in Olympia and the others are here in Yakima. And the youngest one isn't in school yet. So I went to Catholic schools my whole life. My wife went to public schools. And that's one of the reasons why we think the Catholic Foundation is really important because it's provided an education for both the public school kids that are going through the religious ed programs and the kids that are in the Catholic schools. And also some adult education. When Bishop Tyson came and the change of the focus of the foundation was, was gonna be towards education 
um, and we really focused that, I, I th we that found that really attractive to us. Um, because I really believe that what we're doing today is we're educating tomorrow's leaders, and it's really important to grow our, our Catholic uh, parish and, and, and diocese um, with leaders in the future. I think the most important thing is, is that you have a vehicle to be able to give money to and to support, and then they have a method to, to distribute it to both their parishes, to the schools, and, and you don't have to worry about it being equitable. They've, they've got a plan, they figured it out, they spent a lot of time working on that. And uh, the parishes can, can write in for grants, um, and I think it's a real equitable way to get the money distributed to, to a larger group of people. So we support the foundation because it's the right thing to do. We've been blessed with, uh, with many things, and I think that any time you give to the foundation, it's gonna to return to you tenfold. Maybe not monetarily, but it's been the best investment we've ever made. Um, and we get a lot of joy out of seeing uh, the, the kids in the schools, the religious ed program flourishing. I think supporting the, the foundation is really important because once again, it's, we are developing tomorrow's leaders today, and we want a Catholic education for any child that wants one. So I would encourage everyone to support the Catholic Foundation, where we're educating tomorrow's leaders today. Each year, the Central Washington Catholic Foundation has the honor of administering the Mary Ellen Chott Marist Scholarship to a deserving student who is attending a Catholic university and meets a set of criteria set by the family. This year, we are featuring Hannah Sinko, who has been the recipient of the Chott Mayor Scholarship for two years in a row. I think you will be blown away by Hannah's drive and passion to serve her community. Hi, I'm Hannah Sinko, and I'm a LaSalle High School graduate and a current Gonzaga University junior with a double major in psychology and special education. After undergrad, I'm hoping to attend a graduate school psychology program with courses focusing on social justice and cultural diversity. As a past and current recipient, the Chott Mayer Scholarship has given me the opportunity to attend Gonzaga University and to understand what it means to receive a Jesuit education. Here at GU, I've been able to volunteer in incredible youth mentorship programs that reach out to students in the Spokane area. This kind of work has led me on a path to aid in education, especially with disadvantaged students and understanding disparities within education. I want to help students from all backgrounds to receive an equitable education. Without this scholarship, I wouldn't be here at GU, studying the courses within my major, volunteering in youth mentorship programs, learning about the realities and issues within public education, and practicing skills to be a better educator and leader. So thank you again to the Chaw Mayor family and the Central Washington Catholic Foundation for this amazing opportunity. To share a bit more perspective of the incredible learning and inspiration that is happening in our Catholic schools is Director of Schools, Doug Rich. Greetings, my name is Doug Rich, and I'm part of the diocesan team serving as Director of our Catholic Schools and Parish Services. We consult, design, and help implement standards, policies, and procedures for our six diocesan schools and 40 parishes throughout Central Washington. I'm a product of both religious education through Holy Family Parish in Yakima and Catholic schools where I attended and graduated from Carroll High, let's just say a number of years ago. The pandemic has profoundly impacted us all and your schools and religious education programs were not excluded. On March 14th of this year, schools were ordered to close to in-person instruction immediately and then the administration and the faculty moved aggressively towards a remote instructional platform and one week later they were up and running at full gallop with an online teaching and near perfect student engagement rate while outpacing the local public school systems. The teachers were the real heroes here in getting all of this done. And I'm happy to report that all of our Catholic schools throughout the diocese are up and running this year with most of them doing so inside the buildings under the watchful eye of our four different health districts to make sure that we are doing so safely and following robust opening plans that we've all developed throughout the summer. That said, COVID-19 has greatly impacted our school's ability to do fundraisers, which support roughly 20% of the cost of educating our children in the faith. This places increased importance on helping our families and their support of the educational expense. Please keep this in mind that our teachers are paid a fraction of what their counterparts in public education receive. 
they too believe in the mission of the school. This is where the independent Central Washington Catholic Foundation is so important in three ways. In its support of tuition assistance programs for those families with the greatest financial need, in training dollars for our teachers and religious education professionals and catechists, and in other creative ways that meet specific needs of Catholic education, whether it occurs in a school classroom or in a religious education class at the parish. The fact that you are a part of this virtual event tells me you support the idea of Catholic education. So if you haven't already, I ask you to give strong consideration of a gift to the Foundation in support of our moral obligation to raise our children in the faith. You might also consider a sustaining gift that is regularly deducted from your bank account so that your support becomes a regular part of your financial bu budgeting. Please call the Foundation office. I'm sure that they can point you in the right direction. And thank you again for your consideration and for being here. Many blessings on your day. It has been an unprecedented year to say the least. Between COVID-19, fires, and other challenging circumstances, our communities have suffered. However, we've also had some incredible successes and an outpouring of support. The Central Washington Catholic Foundation is one of those resources and supports for our schools and parishes. We increase access to Catholic schools in Central Washington by providing tuition assistant grants to children and families based on family income, taking into consideration the unique challenges families are currently facing. The tuition assistance program, known as TAP, is designed for students currently enrolled or preparing to enroll in one of the Central Washington Catholic schools, including Tri-Cities Prep and LaSalle High School. In response to the increased need of our Catholic schools, earlier this year, the Board of Trustees approved increasing our TAP grant allocations for this year. I am proud to announce that because of supporters like you, the Central Washington Catholic Foundation awarded over $155,000 in TAP grants to the neediest families in our diocese. These funds were dispersed to all eight schools and impacted 271 students. That is more money than we have ever been able to give away, and we can also celebrate that that is the most students and families that we have ever been able to support. Later on in this video, you will hear from the Garcia family that has benefited greatly from the support of the TAP grants. Tuition assistant grants help open the doors to an excellent Catholic education in partnership with the family and their Catholic school. Thank you for making that possible. It is my honor to introduce you to the Garcia family. They have graciously offered to share their dynamic family journey that has led them to become beloved members of the Catholic school community and beyond. We've been married for 17 years. We met in high school. We were high school sweethearts. We had three children together um, when we were really young. We really felt like God was putting it on our hearts to do foster care. We felt like we had these amazing children and we were so lucky and blessed, but there are all these kids out there that needed good parents and a good home. And so we decided to do foster care so that we could maybe give other children that same opportunity that our kids had. So at this point, we um, have adopted uh, two amazing children and um, we are hoping to possibly adopt a third um, child.
so that puts us at uh, six beautiful children ranging in age from two to 19. Currently we have a five and a six year old at St. Joseph's um, and then we have a freshman and a junior at LaSalle so our kids are embedded you know in the Catholic private school between high school and you know beginner. Uh, we wanted our kids to have those instilled. Um, strong faith based. Yeah strong faith based. I mean we wanted all those things instilled in them um, from outside of our home. Um, they get that a lot in, their, in yeah. our home but we wanted them to also be able to go to school and have the same values in school that we preach at home. The TAP grant has been huge for our family. We have six kids, foster parents. Um, we could have never done Catholic school without the help of the TAP grant. Where we may have only been able to put our three biological children into school or into private school, now we're able to do the same thing for our adopted children and even some of the foster children that have come through our home. And so it allows us to give them what they wouldn't normally receive otherwise. We're so grateful um, to the Central Washington um, Catholic Foundation for all that they have done to help send our kids to Catholic school, but not just our kids, all, all the kids that they have put through. Um, thank you, Central Washington Catholic Foundation, for all that you do. And if you're watching at home, I really hope that you'll consider um, supporting this amazing foundation. They, they do so much to help our kids, and uh, we couldn't be more uh, blessed to have um, received so much. Our Catholic community goes beyond borders, and especially beyond the Diocese of Yakima. To show solidarity, collaboration, and unity, we will now hear short messages from three very well-known and respected individuals from the west side of the mountains of the Catholic community. I am honored to introduce a personal friend of mine, Kristen Dixon, the Superintendent of Catholic Schools for the Archdiocese of Seattle. Hello, everyone. My name is Kristen Dixon, and I have the pleasure and the honor of serving as superintendent for Catholic schools in the Archdiocese of Seattle. My good friend, Nicole Franson, uh, who is your executive director for this uh, important foundation, has asked me to say a couple of words in support of, of this event. Easy for me to do. Easy because I believe in the power of Catholic education. I believe in the power of our faith to ground our children um, in a time that is challenging every single last one of us to hang on to important values, important values of integrity and honesty and mercy and forgiveness. In a classroom that, whether it's virtual or in a brick and mortar building, but it's in a classroom where every child is known, every child is loved, and every child knows that Jesus loves them and knows them by name. Isn't that what we all want? Isn't that what we all want for all our kids? Um, an experience of safety and security and one that is um, about the other. It's not about what I can get for myself. It's about what I can give. What are the talents? What are the gifts that God has given me that I then can give to the world? A Catholic education helps children find what those talents are, develop those talents, and then see how the world is needing those talents. So your gift helps that happen, helps us go into the future with faith-filled citizens who are going to be making really difficult decisions going forward. So I affirm and applaud you for your, your willingness to contribute to this important foundation. Um, we need Catholic education right now. It is so important that our schools 
survive and thrive. And your gift helps us do that. God bless you all. Thanks, Kristen. St. Martin's University is not only a copper partner for the 40 ways in 40 days to celebrate our faith campaign, but the university's president, Dr. Roy Hendricks, has a message of support to share. Hi, I'm Roy Hendricks, president of St. Martin's University. St. Martin's has a long history with Yakima Valley and Central Washington. Each year, my wife Kathleen and I, along with Abbot Neil Roth, uh, and Father Killian Malvey occasionally have come and joined you at your event to raise money for Catholic education. I am now celebrating over 40 years in Catholic higher education. It's been my privilege and a blessing to be part of Catholic education and see its effects. I have enjoyed and have always thought those individuals that have had Catholic education from K through 12 have excelled in college and in life in general. I encourage you to support the foundation this evening, uh, and we look forward to next year to joining you in person. Take care. Thank you, Dr. Hendricks. As an alumni of Seattle University, it is my pleasure to introduce Father Steven Sundborg, SJ, the current president of Seattle University. Hi, I'm Father Steve Sundborg, the president of Seattle University. I'm a Jesuit priest and I'm privileged to be able to be the president now for 24 years of this uh, Catholic University. Um, I want to uh, speak to you about uh, the importance of Catholic education and ask you to be generous in your support of the Central Washington Catholic Foundation in order that you can make a Catholic education available and important in the lives of all of your young people. Uh, I myself am a product of Catholic education, uh, all eight years on the elementary level and then a year of religious education through our parish, and then three years more of high school, and then college, and then even uh, universities for advanced degrees, all Catholic education. And it's just made all the difference in the world for the kind of person I am, uh, the way in which I live out my faith, and how I seek to serve others with what I do with my life. So there's nothing more important to me than what my education in Catholic faith has been. And I believe for you, your faith is probably the most important thing in your lives. And I often reflect that what's so important about Catholic education is that we need to find the way that our education in the faith equals our education in other areas, that the two grow together. So that as a person, a young person learns history and sciences and understanding of the world, that at the same time their faith and their education, their faith advances at the same pace so that they face mature issues with a mature faith, rather than that there's a gap between the two. I think that's uh, so very, very important. Um, so Catholic education allows uh, faith and, and uh, edu education to grow together. It allows uh, knowledge of the world and knowledge of God to be one, of self-understanding and the knowledge of Jesus Christ to be integrated. So. I admire what the Catholic uh, Central Washington Catholic Foundation does, makes possible for all of your young. I was looking and seeing that the number of your uh, elementary schools and of your high schools and of your religious education programs in your parish and what you do about a college, college scholarship program and even what you're doing by investing in digital uh, learning for Catholic education and how important that is in our day. So what you're doing reaches all of the children of Central Washington, allowing them to be educated in their faith in Catholic schools and Catholic programs. So perhaps out of gratitude for your own faith and your own education, perhaps something like what mine has been, you would be able to be generous in support at this special time and in this special event of the Central Washington Catholic uh, Foundation. So from Father Steve at Seattle University, uh, thank you, uh, bless you, and blessings on your family. Thanks very much. And now back to Board President Gordon Beecher for our closing message. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. I know my wife Kathy and I did. Our son John attended CCD at Christ the King Parish and graduated from Tri-Cities Prep and St. Martin's University. Both of those Catholic schools changed his life forever. 
for that, my wife and I are forever grateful. Our parishes this year were hit very, very hard by the pandemic quarantine and restricted participation from their members, especially financially. We can't let that stop us from continuing our religious education programs. As Bishop Tyson reminds us, quote, every child in our diocese should have the opportunity to know Jesus, close quote. Our religious education programs provide that and must continue to be an integral part of our parish life through high school and on to college, as so many of our children have. So please, dig into your bag accounts. Maybe forego some of those daily perks we all relish, like that latte or ice cream sundae. Take out that pledge card and make it that donation, whether it be a monthly pledge, a check, or using a credit card. It all works for us. In these times of stress and challenge in our country, our Catholic education is needed more than ever. Thank you, and God bless you and your families.